Hello everyone. So in today's video, we will look the electric field intensity due to surface charge and due to volume charge. In the previous video, I told you about the electric field intensity due to a point charge and a line charge, right? So now see, first we look the electric field intensity due to surface charge. Here, now as you can see here, I have taken a one sheet and in this sheet you can say that there is in a distribution of charges, right? And we have taken the charge density, if you will say the surface charge density is defined as the rho s, right? Now, in the whole sheet, if we take a differential amount of the surface, okay? So, this is the differential amount of the surface and if this differential amount of the surface will carry the differential charge dq, we can say, okay? So, we can say this differential charge dq, we can define as, this is given as the rho s into ds. Okay, this is defined as the rho s into ds and due to this differential charge dq, we can find the differential amount of electric field at a point p. We can find at a point p here. So, we can write, so we can write here, this is given the differential amount of the electric field. So, differential amount of the electric field we can find by taking the values of the differential amount of the charges. So, we can say this will be given as we can write dq, we can write this is given as the dq upon 4 pi epsilon naught r square into AR. Okay, so this is the differential amount of the electric field at a point P due to the differential amount of the charges which is available on the differential amount of the surface ds. We can see. Okay, now here further we can write it this dq we can replace with the rho s into ds upon this is given the 4 pi epsilon naught r square into AR. Okay. Same, the R is telling about the distances of a point from where we need to find the electric field intensity and AR showing the direction. So, it is representing the unit vector. Okay. So, now if we need to find the total electric field intensity at a point P due to the charge distribution over the sheet of charge, over the sheet. So, we have to find the total integration. So, we have to take the total integration or you can say we have to take the total integration over this surface. So, we have to take the surface integration. So, we can say we can find the total electric field intensity due to the surface integration of dE you can say right and also also we can say that this will be equal to surface integration we can say this will be given how much dq upon 4 pi epsilon naught r square into ar so finally we can say the electric field intensity we can find this is the surface integration so rho s into ds upon 4 pi epsilon naught r square ar ye jo dq hai yahan par ds ki dq ki value put kar denge to rho s ds aa jayega so finally, we can say the electric field intensity at a point P due to the charge distribution over the sheet. So this is very important here. So this is the electric field intensity equal to surface integration rho a ds upon 4 pi epsilon naught r square into ar. And again, this ar and ds will depending uh, on a particular coordinate system, okay. So, so we'll use if we'll use the Cartesian or cylindrical or the spherical. So, we'll put the values of this A R and D S as per the uh, coordinate system used, okay. So, this is very important. So, this is the final expression of the electric field intensity due to the surface charge distribution. Very important for numerical. Now, next we'll move to the 
electric field intensity due to the volume charge. Now here you see I have taken a one cubical structure is here. Okay, so now this cubical structure uh, I have taken uh, as in a differential element, and this uh, you can say this whole surface representing the volume structure. Okay, so the charge distribution is here. So this rho v representing the volume charge density here. Now this uh, differential element will contain the differential amount of the charges. So it contains the differential amount of the charges, and because it is a cubical structure, so we are taking the differential volume. This is defined as the dV, and we need to find the electric field intensity at a point E, at a at a point P. Right, which is the which is the distance r from the element, and this a r representing the unit vector. Okay, so now again, if we need to find the because here we taking the differential volume, so differential volume carries differential charges, right? And so we can find the differential amount of the electric field. So we can find the differential amount of the electric field, which is given. By the differential amount of the charge d q upon 4 pi epsilon naught r square into a r, we can say okay. And also we can define the differential charge will be given as what rho v into d v. So we can say the differential amount of the electric field intensity. So we can say the differential amount of the electric field. intensity will be given as rho v dv upon 4 pi epsilon naught r square into ar but if we need to find the total amount of the electric field at a point p so we have to take the total integration as you can say we have to take the complete volume integration so we have to take the complete volume integration of this expression so we will find the Total electric field intensity. So this is given the volume integration. So we will find the volume integration. So this is given as the rho v dv upon 4 pi epsilon naught r square a r. Okay. So this is the electric field intensity expression for a volume charge distribution for a Volume charge distribution. Again, this is important for the numerical. Okay, so now we have seen the electric field intensity expression due to the point charge, line charge in the previous video, and the surface charge and the volume charge in this video. So this topic is over. And in the coming videos, I will take some of the numericals regarding this topic. So this uh, expressions and how we'll use this expression in the numerical. Everything will be clear to you. Okay thank you